Hello and welcome to an introduction to programming using Visual Basic exercises for beginners. In this exercise we are going to create a small app that will calculate a restaurant bill. We are to write a program to compute customer's bill. The vendor sells pizza slices for $1.75, fries for $2 and soft drinks for $1.25. The program should request the quantity of each item, order in a sub-procedure, calculate the total cost with a function procedure and use sub procedure to display an itemized bill. So this is our form, three small text boxes to enter how many slices of pizza are ordered, how many portions of fries and how many soft drinks and we will click the button and calculate the bill and display it into a list box. So I'm back in my Visual Studio 2015, here is my form just as you saw in the slide and let's get coding. I'll double click the calculate total cost button and go to the sub procedure for the click event. The first thing we need to do is create few variables as usually, but this time we are going to create three constants. We know the price of the pizza and fries and drinks and those are not gonna change, so therefore we can make them constants. However, we need to have an access to these variables because we are going to be using them in several procedures and functions, so I'm going to declare them up here in a class level or a form level. So the first constant will be the pizza price, then the price of fries and the price of drinks. And all of these will be double because the prices are $175, $2 and $125 respectively. So here are our constants and now let's go to the button click event and make sure that the user enters correct input using the try parse. So we are going to declare a few variables that will store the values from the text boxes that the user enters and we will declare a variable for the total which will be the total bill that we are going to calculate. So the pizza, fries and drinks that are entered into the text boxes will be integers because the user will be entering the number of pizzas or pizza slices, the number of drinks and fries and the total will be double because that will be the actual price or the cost of the whole meal. So now when we have our variables, we have to make sure that the user entered correct input. And like I said, we are going to use the integer.tryParse for each of the text boxes. And if the input is correct, we will assign a value to our variables as we declare them. So here is our condition to make sure that the input is correct. And if the input is not correct, we can display a message box asking the user to correct the input. All right, so when the user enters wrong input, the message box shows, and if the user enters valid input, we can calculate the total and display the bill. And to calculate the total, we are going to create a function called calculate, and it will accept the slices of pizza, fries, and the number of drinks that the user ordered, and we will calculate the cost for these uh, items. So let's create the function and it will accept the arguments for pizza, fries and drinks and those are obviously integers because that's the input from the user for the, from the text boxes. And since we are calculating the total cost, in other words we are calculating the bill or the currency, we are going to return a double. So we will return as double from this function. And within the function we can create a variable called total and it's going to be a double and it will hold the total amount due for the order. And to calculate the total, we'll simply multiply the price with its respective items. So we will multiply the pizza slices by one, 175, the fries multiplied by 2, and the drinks multiplied by 125. So our total will simply equal the multiplication of these prices and adding them together. Alright, so this is our total. Now when we have calculated it, we can return it and we can go back to our if statement and if the input is valid we can now call this function and return the value of it into our total variable that we declared within this sub procedure. So our total will equal and we'll call the calculate function and pass the pizza, fries and drinks as arguments. It will perform the calculation and return the value and assign it to our total variable over here. So now when we have our calculations we can display the items and the bill for the customer to see in our list box. And to do that, I'm going to create a sub procedure called display bill. And we will display the prices 
for each of the items. We will display the ordered items and we will display the total. So let's create a sub procedure first. So we are going to pass four arguments to it. Like I said, we're going to pass the pizza, fries and drinks and also the total because those are the items that we will be displaying in our display procedure. And because this is a sub procedure, there is no return value. So now we can simply display the items in our list box in a little bit of a formatted way. So I'm going to create a first line which is going to have the item, quantity and price as a header. So I'm going to use the LST display, which is the name of my list box, that items, that add, and I'm going to add the item and maybe a tab and then a few spaces in between. We'll display the quantity, another tab, and we will display the price. So this is the header and now we can actually display the actual items. However, we are only going to display items that were ordered. In other words, if no pizza was ordered, we are not going to display it on the bill. And how to find out if anything was ordered? Well, if the pizza is greater than zero, in other words, meaning at least one slice was ordered, then we will display it. If it's less than zero, then we won't. And the same for the fries and drinks. So we'll simply do an if statement and ask if the pizza is greater than zero and fries is greater than zero and drinks are greater than zero. So if any pizza was ordered, we're going to display the order in our list box. Just like before, we'll do the items.add and we are going to add the pizza. And just like before, we'll add a tab. Actually, we'll add two tabs to make it nicer. And then we'll display the number of pizza slices ordered. So we will simply do pizza to string. And after that, we will display another tab and we will display the cost for the pizza. And the cost will be simply calculation like we did in our total. We will multiply the pizza by the pizza price and we'll format it as currency. So this will give us a line, pizza, two tabs, then how many slices ordered and then formatted in currency will be the cost for the pizza. And this will only be displayed if there's at least one slice of pizza ordered. And we'll do the same thing for the fries and the drinks. So we'll do an if statement. If the fries is greater than zero, then we'll display in the same format the cost of the fries and how many fries were ordered. So again, if at least one portion of fries was ordered, we'll display fries and then how many were ordered and display the cost of fries, simply multiplication of fries times fries price. And lastly, we'll do the same for the drinks. We'll display the items in our list box the same way we did for pizza and the fries. So if any drinks were ordered, we'll display the line and the price or the cost of the drinks. And at the end, we can display the total. So we will display LST display that items that add and we'll display it as total. And we will display again a tab and we will display the total cost that is being passed as an argument here into this sub procedure and we'll format it as currency. All right, so this will do it. Now we have to actually display the bill which means we need to call this sub procedure. So after we calculate our total, we'll call this sub procedure and we will pass the pizza, fries, drinks and total to it as arguments. All right, so let's run it and see what we get. So here's my form. First, let's try not to add anything and just calculate. And we get the error message box. And if I enter incorrect values for one of these, I get the please correct your input message box. If I enter correct values, the cost is calculated and you can see that it's kind of formatted. This has the header and the columns. So we ordered one slice of pizza for 175, two fries for four dollars together because two dollars each, and three drinks for 375 for dollar 25 each for the total of 950. And you can see that it's formatted as dollars. All right, so this is working correctly. I hope you liked it. I'll see you in the next video.